The first insane CapCut AI feature is Video Translator, which looks like this. I've got this video of me speaking in English. We're gonna watch the whole thing. It's all of five seconds, hang on tight. This is me speaking in English, but AI Trevor can speak Spanish better than I ever could. Now I do speak some Spanish, it's not perfect, but it's okay, but guess who's better at this? That would be CapCut. If I jump over to audio, I make sure the clip is highlighted, I jump over to audio and I've got this pro feature called Video Translator. Here I can choose what I want it to do. Go from English, which is what I'm speaking to any of these languages. Let's go into Spanish because I can at least understand if they're getting it right. And then I just hit apply. Now this is a pro feature and it does take credits. You get the credits refreshed every month. I'll click apply. It uploads the footage to its server, does its magic, and it comes back looking like this, which you Spanish speakers uh, tell me how, how they did. Este, soy yo hablando en inglés, pero ahí Trevor puede hablar español mejor que yo. All of the elements that I use in this video are yours for free to download, so go ahead and click that link in the description below and download everything so you can follow along. The second thing that CapCut's AI does insanely well is slow motion. Now, here's a clip that I shot at 24 frames a second, not in slow motion. Here's just a couple seconds of it. You know, and it looks fine, but it would look better slow motion. Now, if you don't know how this works, if you film something in slow motion, and you play it back in slow motion on your computer, it's gonna look great. But if you film something at a normal speed and you try to slow it down, it looks generally pretty terrible. In fact, if we just do the regular slow motion right here under speed, and I slow it down like this to, you know, maybe 30%, look how it looks. It's very jittery, it's unusable. That's what it does when you slow things down a whole bunch that weren't filmed in slow motion, but CapCut's got a feature called Smooth Slow Mo Pro, another pro feature. If I click on that, I can choose either frame blending, which is faster and fair, or optical flow, which is pretty great. Now, similar features exist in DaVinci Resolve and Premiere, but this one to me works better. So I'm gonna change this to optical flow. CapCut's actually creating frames based on the frame before and the frame after and filling in the blanks. And that's a lot of data, especially in 4K. I'm giving you this clip in 4K because it'll work better and it's got more data to work with. So you, you gotta be patient, but the result is worth it. Now with a little music that I got from CapCut, let's see how this looks. I don't know if you realize how amazing that is, but rewind it and watch it without optical flow and then watch that again. It's freaking incredible. Next, CapCut's AI text to image generator is freaking insane. And to get to it, you just go to the home screen here and down in the bottom left, you'll have some options. Just click on these and to get to the one that says Dreamina and click on Dreamina or go to dreamina.capcut.com, this, this URL right here. And you wanna click on text to image. We have a bunch of options here. I'm not gonna do the full tutorial here, but we're just going to make sure we've got Dreamina, the, the top one, 1 1.4, which is great. And then quality, crank it all the way up. And we're gonna do a vertical thing, a vertical human being. So I'm gonna make it nine by 16. This can go up to like something like 1360. I'm gonna type in 1500, it'll tell us. So 1360 is the max pixel. So just type in 1360 and it'll adjust the other one. This is one of those things that does take credits, but you get a whole bunch of them. So you probably won't run out unless you go crazy. And I know who my audience is, so I know what you're gonna type in first. I'm just I'm just gonna do it for you. And please forgive me ladies for, for doing this, but bam, it's for, it's for science. Hit generate and let's see what we get. Let's see how it does. Because it is making something out of thin air, it's gonna take a second, so you gotta be patient. But usually the results are worth it. And here's what it came up with, not bad. Let's say we like this guy right here. And one thing we could do is up res it to get a little bit higher resolution. So I'm just going to click on HD upscale, bam, right there. And it'll generate a high resolution version of our model. And now we can just click right here and download it. And then we'll just click import and bring it into our project like this. Then we'll just drop it into our timeline. And that brings us to AI feature number four, which is kind of insane. We've got this horizontal video. So we've got this horizontal video here, but we've got this vertical image of this girl in a beach and we don't have any more beach there. Is there a way to generate more beach? Let's, uh, let's see. If we click on this girl, make sure she's highlighted, click on video basic and scroll down to AI expand. We have the ability to change the aspect ratio. 
by clicking here and choosing 16 by nine. So it's gonna fill that in. Then I'm going to edit the expanded area and all this stuff looks pretty good. All I need to do is hit generate. It's gonna take a couple of credits, but I got a whole bunch. So I'm gonna hit generate and we're going to hit apply and then we wait and see what CapCut does. Can it see that that's a beach and fill it in for us? And bam, look at that, look what it did. It gave me four options, all with beautiful beaches. Two, three, four. Oh, they're all great. I like the palm trees maybe. So let's say I like that one best. I hit apply and confirm and bam. Now I've got this girl with a beach scene behind her. Oh, holy cow. You probably noticed that CapCut does a whole lot of amazing things and I cover all of them in my course, Edit with Trev and Master CapCut. I teach you how to edit in like a day if you just plow through the whole course. And I also teach you what you need to do to get more views and more subscribers on every video, guarantee. Like follow the 10 steps I outlined and you will get more views and more subscribers than you're getting now. I, I guarantee it. If not, just give your money back. So check out the link in the description below or click, uh, I think it's, think it's right there. Might be on the other side. Feature number five, AI background removal. So we take that first image of me speaking in English and we'll drop it over some of that footage of the sailboat just, just for fun. And I'm gonna turn all the sound down on the sailboat here. And what if I wanted to see the sailboat behind me? Now, in the old days, you would have to use green screen and then key it out. Or if you didn't shoot with the green screen, we had a whole team of guys where I used to work in Hollywood where they would like draw a line around the dude every frame just to cut him out so we could put stuff behind him. It's called rotoscoping and it's a huge pain in the butt, but technology is way better now. I just click on that and I choose remove background and I hit auto removal, also a pro feature. I click on that guy and I wait, it processes. It's pretty fast on this stuff. And even though my shirt matches the background, let, let's see how it does. Look, well, look at me. I'm, I'm right there narrating the sailboat behind me. And it looks really good. Like to get that kind of quality, I, you know, a year ago, it, it wouldn't have been possible with one click like this. One of the most time consuming things in creating videos is creating an outline or a script and Cap can help you with that as well. If we jump up here on this left panel, we have AI characters. If you don't see the AI characters, there's one of two reasons. Number one, yeah, you can't see it because there's not enough room. So you just click on this arrow or drag this over and they will be revealed. But I know a lot of you in other parts of the world don't have all of the features I have in my version of CapCut. Just so you can see, I've got CapCut version 4.6.0 on a Macintosh, but the features available vary by region. Some countries don't have all the features. I think some countries are a little more paranoid about some of this AI stuff, so they may not allow it. So. I apologize if you don't have these features, hopefully they're coming soon to you, but here's what I have on my version in October of 2024 using that version of CapCut here in the United States. So this feature allows me to create a script from a quick prompt. So I click on AI characters and I have, enter what you want the AI character to say. And right here I have AI writer. So I click on AI writer and I can just put in my script idea. So I can say, the number one way to grow on YouTube, and I click the arrow, and bam, it's gonna generate a script for me. And it created this whole script, and it's way more words than I want, you probably have to edit it. It gives you a couple options right here. I can modify it. Let's say I don't want all of this, I just wanna get right to the point. So I'm just gonna go, the number one way to grow on YouTube, I'll get rid of all the other stuff. The number one way to YouTube is be consistent in your uploads engagement. I'm just gonna leave that for now, just because it's going to be the next thing that we do. You can also copy and paste the script into a document and tweak it to use your own words, but this is super valuable to get a basis for what you want your video to be about. And what if you don't wanna be on camera? That brings us to item number seven, AI characters. Yeah, you can have another human looking thing read your script for you. So let's go ahead and, and, and try that. So I've got my script up here and I just wanna choose a character. I'm gonna click right here so I can see the rest of them. Find a character that I like. What about uh, Victoria? So I'm gonna download Victoria. When you see this arrow, it means this character needs to be downloaded. So I'm gonna download Victoria. Hey, good to see you. And then it gave me Victoria's little sample video. Click on add and it's going to add Victoria down here in my timeline. And it will take some credits, which replenish every month. I hit apply and then bam, now I have Victoria in my timeline reading my script. And now because it was a few seconds and 
She's got to say everything that I told her to say. It's going to take a second, so be a little bit patient, and we'll see how Victoria does. And once I have an AI character in this window, it gives me other options over here on the right. Notice that I've got AI characters here, which wasn't there before because I didn't have an AI character in the timeline. So I click on that, and now I can modify the character, and I can adjust the frame. I can have it automatically crop her, and I can crop her like this and zoom in like that and have her speak, put her off to one side. She looks like she's holding her phone, so I could have something else over here. Now, of course, all of the AI characters like her are cut out, so you can add whatever background you want. You could use a background you have that you've created, or you could just jump over here under stock material. In this case, we're talking about YouTube. So we could say YouTube and find some cool background that you think is cool. What about that? I could just click on this guy and put her on top of it and then uh, trim it up a little bit. What's the keystroke to trim this up? I'm just going to type the letter W to get rid of all of that. And then bam, let's, let's, let's see how she did. The number one way to grow on YouTube is to be consistent in your uploads and engagement. I mean, that's, that's pretty good advice, Victoria. But there's stuff that's even more important than that, which I cover in this video right here.